Now friends, uh, let's take this problem. It's a big story. There's a lot of work in preparing a birthday dinner even after the turkey is in oven. There's still the potatoes and gravy, yam salads and cranberries, not to mention setting the table. Three friends, Asit, Anand and Afzal work together to get all this chorus done. The time it takes them to do the work together is six hours less than Asit would have taken working alone, one hour less than the Arnold would have taken alone and half the time Abzal would have taken working alone. How long would it take uh, them to do this chorus working together? Now friends, it's a really big story but the problem part is from here only. This portion, this portion, this half portion. Okay. So this is the total part of the problem. Otherwise, the remaining story is uh, as for calculation of the answer, it's not at all required. Okay. Now, suppose we assume that the total time which they are taking is x hours. Right. Now, the first one is taking 6 hours uh, less. The time it takes them to do the work together is 6 hours less than Asit would have taken. That means Asit would be taking x plus 6 hours if he is working alone. And Arnold is taking 1 hour less than. Um, so it will be x plus 1. Arnold will be taking x plus 1 if he is working alone. And this third guy that is half the time he will be taking that is x. He will be taking 2x hours. Okay. So x hours is when all of them are working together. This is if the first guy is working all alone, if the second guy is working all alone, if the third guy is working all alone. That means these are their individual capacities. Now, according to time and work, we have to calculate the unit work. Okay. So in one hour, this guy will be doing 1 upon x plus 6 work. This guy will be doing 1 upon x plus 1 work. And this guy will be doing 1 upon 2x work. So in all, if they are working together, they will be doing 1 upon x work. That is, in one hour, these three guys will be doing one upon x works, x work. He is doing one upon x plus six work in one hour. He is doing one upon x plus one work in one hour, and he is doing one upon two x work. So I hope till here you are clear. Now we have to calculate the value of x. Now there are two options. Either you go by option, or you just solve the equation. First of all, let's simplify it. Okay, this will be going here and it will 1 upon x minus 1 upon 2x is 1 upon 2x. Now you will be getting a quadratic equation if you solve it or you can go by option whatever the method suits you that you can adopt. What my idea is to just go by option instead of solving a quadratic equation take the help of option and eliminate the absurd options. Okay. Now how to eliminate the absurd option? Just listen to me very carefully. Now suppose the answer is 20 minutes. Since we are doing the entire calculation in is in hours. So we have to take this 20 minutes in hours. Okay, so that would be 1 by 3 hours. Now suppose x is 1 by 3. So if you put x 1 by 3 over here, so what you will be getting in the denominator? That is 1 by 3 plus x. That is 19 by 3, isn't it? That means in denominator you will be getting 19. Okay. And you'll be getting some data over here also. But in the right hand side, if you see, if you put x is 1 by 3, you won't be getting any factor or multiple of 19. So it will be not worth to solve for x is equal to 20 minutes. Okay. So I just eliminate this option. Similarly, if I take 30 minutes, that is half an hour. So it's 1 plus uh, 1 by 2 plus 6, that is 13 by 2. Okay. So further, I'll be getting 30 over here. And some number over here in, in the right hand side, if, if the 2x will be what? It's 1. Okay, if x is half, hour, uh, half an hour. So further, this data and this data, they are going apart. Okay, so even 30 minutes cannot be the correct option. Now, if I take 40 minutes, it will be 2 by 3 hours. Okay, suppose I put 2 by 3 over here. So what I'll be getting? 6, 3 is 18 plus 2, 20. So now denominator is coming a decent value. Okay, so what that will be just put 2 by 3 and uh, see whether the left hand side and right hand side are matching or not. Now 2 by 3 plus 6 that is 3, 6 are 18 plus 2, 20. So it will be 3 by 20 plus it's 2 by 3 plus 1 that is um, 3 plus 2, 5. So it's 3 by 5 or you can say it's 
12 by 20 so it's 15 by 20 or we can say 3 by 4 so the left hand side is 3 by 4 if you put x is through 2 by 3 or if you put x is 2 by 3 over here so it's 2 into 2 4 and it is 3 so right hand side also you are getting 3 by 4 so if you put x as 40 minutes you'll be getting left hand side and right hand side as same that means 40 minutes is the correct answer and how did we eliminate the remaining option that is we discarded the like options which are not suiting over here or the, the options which are giving the absurd denominators okay so this technique will be really useful for your examination time when you have to save that time because time is really a constant in uh, cat examination and i hope you are clear with this technique